You know, I wouldn't be surprised to see the cash market continue to hover in between that 110, 120 level, and uh, hopefully that'll get this you know, the board moving in the right direction. I think we just need to see a little bit more volume at those higher trades to really encourage some new buyers to step into the futures market. We're kind of at a standstill here between the buyers and the sellers on the board. Right in the middle of the, the range, the 50% retracement for August, that comes in right about 99, and for that June contract, right about 98. So this is a technical battleground area. If we can start to achieve consecutive closes out above here with some conviction, I think that's when you start to encourage new momentum traders and funds to add to their newly found net long position and really prop this market up here in the near term. It has been constructive, but we need to see a little bit more follow through against these upper bounds of technical resistance. Uh, the uh, cutout values that came out over the weekend or Friday afternoon, were they um, supportive to the trade or are they going to hurt? Well, there's been a little bit of a disconnect between the board and the cutout values here over the coming or the last couple of weeks and really the last month, month and a half. I think you're going to start to see those maybe start to come into a little bit more of a correlation. Uh, but that might still be a couple weeks out. I think right now the board is telling us that you know, right around a buck is, is where the market should be with regards to how many cattle are out there and where the kills are at. So it'll be interesting to see um, if that cutout continues to come lower in the coming weeks. And it, it, I really wouldn't expect the, the live cattle market to really be affected too much at this point in time with everything going on.